What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial on how to build an Android application, a basic calculator. Here are the requirements of the tutorial, the basic tools and uh, of course an Android phone. Let's just start a new Android Studio project. Start by giving your application a name, you've given basic calculator and hit on next. The minimum SDK, you can set it on any Android version, Jelly Bean being the most minimum of all, through which any Jelly Bean phones can access it and hit on next. Empty activity as an activity set on and finish. Just wait for the file to open. And here it is in front. The dot Java is the main coding screen, coding tab. This is the design tab. We'll just maximize it and center it. Yes. By default, uh, it displays in Hello World. So, just taking that off. These are the various tools or icons you can use in your Android app. But before we do that, we would need to change the layout. By default, it uh, is put on as constraint layout, but we'll be using relative layout. There are various layouts used in Android Studio, uh, but uh, you can say relative layout being the most basic and uh, really good for beginners. That's done. We move on to the design screen now. We start by placing four buttons. So uh, the four for being for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Next, we hit for the number decimal. That de that is the edit text box. You need three of them. So just placing three of them, and the text view. That is the normal uh, text view that we have. So we'll just type in the text view as enter first number, enter second number for the second and the answer for the last one. We'll also be changing the buttons to naming them as add, subtract, multiply and divide respectively. You can change the color of the buttons as well by going on, on the tab which you see on the right that is background and just select any color you want. We'll just go with the original and we move on to the main uh, coding screen now. Firstly, you'll have to declare variables that you've used. So the various edit text box, the buttons that you've used. No need to declare any edit, uh, sorry, the text view. So, this privately, we're going to use a private button and declare the buttons addition, subtraction. These are the variables that we're going to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Next, we declare the uh, private edit text boxes. That is for the first one being for the enter the first number, the second one for the enter the second number, and the last one that's for the answer. So we just name them any variable as, so let's say et1, et2, and et3. So that's been said. We'll just move on to setting up our IDs so we need to change the IDs of the buttons we use so we just keep this as BT and add and similarly for the subtract multiply and divide is it on yes yes also for the edit text as we've put IDs 
et1 your et2 and for the answer one et3 the ids are only set for the edit text boxes not for the text views you don't need it for the text views actually and so yeah we move on to um, the next what we are doing in this line addition is equal to button find view by id r dot id btn add in this line we are assigning the ids that we have used for the button so the add button has an id btn add so we have to assign the ids to the variable that we've used that is addition So whatever operations we are going to use over here are going to be assigned through the IDs that we have used. And R over here means it's a basic um, public class you can say. So it's a public class through which the IDs have been uh, used. So you assign the IDs for all operations. Now we do it for the edit text boxes. 81, 82 and 83. The same process. Only change is that instead of uh, a button, obviously, you will be using an uh, edit text into brackets. And yeah, so you're done uh, assigning the IDs. We now move on to the conditions for the different uh, type of operations. So addition dot set on click listener. Set on click listener. What it does is that if you click on the button, the add button then you tell Android Studio that listen I want to do such such things so the such such things are comes into the, into the conditions public void so we set a condition here if the first text edit text box is equal to blank so if you don't enter anything enter, if you don't enter any number or which is denoted by the two straight lines edit text 2 is equal to blank so we don't put anything into the two uh, edit text boxes then uh, we display a toast that would display a uh, please enter some details so we'll tell the user to please enter some details or you will not get the answer so toast is nothing but a small uh, message which is displayed for a short period of time will be referring to this main activity hence putting it as main activity dot this and the message displayed would be please enter some details if you have not entered any details in the two edit text boxes on top so this is the first condition if using toast else it would just uh, take into the numbers entered by the user so else and then just uh, taking the numbers as in form of string so et1 dot get text that is to get text from the user and uh, dot string that is whatever string in form of numbers they enter same thing for the edit text too we use the variable double so assigning a1 the variable to the edit text 1 81 so this will take the value of uh, whatever the user puts in into the first edit text box same thing we do for the second uh, edit text box the second variable a2 double dot value of and 
et2.getText to string. We declare another variable, a third one, a3, for just uh, adding up a1 and a2, basically. So a3 is equal to a1 and a2, that's, that's what we do here. It's normal addition. And we just want to display a3 now into the last edit text box, that is the et3. So we set it as et3 dot set on click listener. Sorry, not set on click listener, um, set text. and we set it on the value of a3 that we get in the above uh, previous line so we'll be wanting the string value of a3 that's what we've done so this completes the addition condition that we set and similarly you can do it for subtraction, multiplication and division just by changing the variables so instead of addition and uh, we've just um, directly shown you the conditions for all so it's really simple for multiplication you have the asterisk kind and for division of course the forward slash Now we see the screen over here, Android Manifest. If you want your Android app to have any icon on it, you can do it from this screen. We go into Resources, and under Drawable, you need to attach any um, icon. Once you've done that, we go to the Android icon, and we change it to Add Drawable, and your name of the icon so my icon name is uh, calculator underscore icon the android label to basic calculator and that would set the icon whatever you've given the other settings you'd need to do for the running of the application so just check on it if you're ready to run just hit on run and the app would just straight away start on on your phone Another option of doing this is using the build option. So build APK. It shows that it's uh, Gradle is building. Once the Gradle is built, just hit on the event log on your right bottom. And just hit on show in Explorer. So it will show you the APK. And just transfer the APK in your um, Android phone. Just, uh, start using your app so this is the app you can you just see the icon that we've used so we'll just be testing it now with just um, any variables so yeah it's working just entering decimals now It's working with decimals. Now we just keep it blank to see if the toast is coming. Yeah, it's coming. Please enter some details. That's what we needed. So yes, guys, the app is working really well. Another thing, um, if you want to change the colors of your, like the main uh, title screen or the top bar of your Android app, you can do it on this screen. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please do share this video as much as possible. I'm signing off. Elton Rodericks.